page 124 and yesterday Tony had been about to blurt out that they weren't really gods or devils and uh, that would have meant that here we go this party to make a gross understatement would have ended on a discordant note. Shirley laughed softly. <laughs> it's all a bit embarrassing, I agree, Tony, she said. But it would be better for all of us if you refrain from owning up to being a bit of a devil until we get back to civilization again. It's a bit flirty. Shirley's being a bit flirty. She felt a slight touch upon her shoulder. And looking around, she saw Taru kneeling behind her with one hand concealed behind his back. A little shyly, he brought the hand into view to reveal that his nut brown fingers were clasping two waistbands similar to the kind which the native girls were wearing, beautifully woven with little red seeds worked into its pattern. Pretty. With a quaintly coy smile, not going to attempt that, he pressed one of the hands towards Shirley and the other not quite such a magnificent one <laughs> towards Wendy. For you, yeah, you can easy. For you, he said, with eyes dancing with a happy light. For me, Shirley gasped, what a lovely present. But why should you bring presents to us? Taru's young face grew solemn. It was clear that there was something concerning the gifts which he wanted Shirley and Wendy to understand completely and have no shadow of doubt about. They are not Maya Alofa, for only Artahua, our holy man, may make offerings to the gods. They're not offerings to the gods. Don't, Shirley and Wendy, don't be thinking they're offerings to the gods. And then he added with boyish frankness, Taru gives them because he likes you very much, but more flirting. This is a page of flirtatiousness. Shirley felt deeply touched, leave it. And I and Wendy too know, like, oh, and I and Wendy too, I know, like you very much too, Taru, she said softly. And she's letting him down gently. <laughs> and I can see that we are going to like you more and more as we get to know each. Well, there we are. <laughs>